Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video what we're going to be going over is creating a dynamic CCTV and security camera system for you to set up in your games. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So as you can see I have two different security cameras in my level, one on either side over there and I have them displayed on these screens here and you can see this is updating in real time. I can jump in front of these cameras and see that it is moving on these screens as well and I've got two using just this one blueprint as well. So you can see me jumping over there, perfectly like so in front of both of these cameras on these screens, and again, using one blueprint, which you can move around the level nice and easily. So this is what we're we'll going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create our CCTV camera blueprint. So to do that, we can hit control space to open up the content browser, right click, go to blueprint class, create an actor, and name this BP underscore CCTV or whatever it is that makes the most sense for you. We'll then open this up straight away. And in here, what we're going to do first off is add in a static mesh. And this is going to be the mesh for our camera. Now, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. You do not need a mesh at all. I'm just doing this because the player is going to be able to see where the camera is. So I want to have a mesh to signify that as well. I'm going to be using one which I've just got off of CG Trader, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below as it is copyright free. And it looks just like this here. Next, what we're going to do is add another component. And we're going to add the camera, but it's not just a camera. This one is going to be the scene capture component 2D, like so. And then what we'll do is we'll just position this where we want. So it makes the most sense facing where the camera is facing as well. So I'll just move this to where I think is going to be good for my camera. So I'll do something a little bit like this. And I'll also fix that there like so. Let me actually also just do this up here, set that to zero, I'll have this be minus 20, and then 110, I think makes the most sense. I'm going to move it over slightly again, I'll toggle off snapping so I can get more precise with it. And you can obviously be as precise as you want with this, but again, you also don't need to actually have the mesh in here if you don't want it to. If you don't want to, but I'm going to have it looking like this, like so. So the camera that the player is actually going to be looking through makes sense with the mesh of the camera as well. Again, you don't have to have them actually match up, but I think it's just going to make the most sense for me and how I want this to look. Next, what we're going to do is with the camera still selected, once we're happy with where it's positioned, with the camera still selected, we'll go down to texture target here, press none to open the drop down menu. Then we will, under the top here is create new assets. We will create the render target. We'll then put this wherever we want. I'm just going to leave it in my content browser here. And I'm going to name this one CCTV underscore cam underscore one. As that again makes the most sense for me, it's the first CCTV camera, so I want it to be number one. Then in the console browser, so control space to open it up, we'll right click on that render target, create material. Now we have the material for that, and we can just drag and drop that onto anything we want, and that will then mean the CCTV camera view is gonna be on this material on whatever object we have. So I've just got some cubes in here. I literally just went up to the add, search cube, dragged it into my level and resize it to the shape and size that I wanted. And I've put this material on here like so. You can do this wherever you want. So you can have it on a monitor. You can even do this in UI if you wanted to as well. So if we open up this material, what you'd want to do for the UI is change the material domain from surface to user interface. And then you want to just put RGB into final color like so. I'm not doing this for UI, but that is how you would make it a UI material. Now what you'll notice is this is obviously black. That's because it's not got anything to render at the moment. So if we hit play, once we've also put it in a level as well, then it will actually have something to see. The camera will see something and it will have something to render. So let's now drag in this camera here and you can actually see it is now moving about as we're moving this as the camera is updating in real time. So let's just place that there, for example. We'll hit play and you can see that this is now updating in real time. We've got our very own CCTV camera in here. Now, you may notice this looks quite pixelated. It looks quite bad. Now, that might be the look you want for your CCTV camera. It might not. What, so what we'll do if you want to change the quality of the camera is open up the render target here. And you can see the size X and size Y. You can change up to, to whatever you want. So if you want it to be 720p, you can do 1280 by 720. That is now going to be HD. So we can close this, go back in, hit play. And you'll see that this is now a much higher quality. It is HD. You can do 1080, you can do 4K, whatever it is you want. However, just keep in mind, the higher the quality, 
the more laggy this can be because you are rendering in the level twice at this point. You're, re you're rendering it in again. So the lower the quality, the better performance you'll have. And also CCTV cameras aren't always the best quality anyway. So you can kind of get away with that. You can also get away with covering up by adding in some post-process effects. So let's say we want to add a little bit of grain, make it black and white, whatever it is that you want, you can add in those effects onto your camera. So if you click on the scene capture component 2D, and then you can just search for post-process. In here, you can add anything you want. So again, you can add the color grading to make it black and white. You can add in film grain to add to make it a bit more grainy. Whatever it is that you want, you can do all of that stuff here. I'm not really going to mess about with it too much, but this is where you can get really detailed with all of your different post-processing effects as well, which again can really cover up having it be a lower quality. So you can't actually tell that it's not great quality. But again, you'd want it to be lower quality so you can have more cameras in the level to have better performance. So you can do anything along those lines perfectly like that. So that works perfectly. We've now got a CCTV camera in our level. However, if we drag this blueprint in again, what you'll notice is that the, we can only have it used for one camera. So we can only have one instance in the level at a time. So that isn't going to work for both of them. So what you could do is you could just create loads of different blueprints. However, we want to do it in just one so it's nice and efficient. So what we're going to do is open up our blueprint again. We're then going to add and create a variable and I'll name this CCTV ID. So the ID of the camera and we'll change that from a Boolean to an integer. We'll then click the little eyeball icon next to it to make it instance editable. So every instance of the blueprint within the level, we can change the ID of that specific camera. We'll compile and we'll just have the default value be zero. Then we'll go to the event graph. We'll delete event tick and event active begin overlap. And we just want to use event begin play. We'll then get CCTV ID, drag out of this and we'll get a switch on int. So depending on what the value of this integer is, we'll, we'll change what happens when the game starts. So let's add two pins as we want two cameras. Off of pin zero, this is gonna be camera ID zero and pin one be camera ID one. So what we're gonna do is get a reference to the scene capture component 2D in our blueprint. Drag out of this, we're going to set texture target. So it's gonna be changing what texture the actual camera is going to be putting onto. So then what material, so then what we're gonna see. And we'll duplicate this, we'll get this twice for both zero and one. And you can do this as many times as you want for as many cameras as you want in your level. So again, I'm only having two cameras at the moment, but if you want 5 or 10 or 15 or 20, you just do the same process here for as many different IDs and cameras as you want. But again, keep in mind, the more you have in one level, the bigger of a performance hit it's going to have. And again, a good way of optimizing is just this render target size here. And also maybe having them not active and not enabled when the player can't see it or anything along those lines. There are lots of ways to optimize this, but those are just some simple ones. But anyway, back on with the video here. What we're going to do now is change the texture target. So this one is going to be CCTV cam one. And then for the second one, or if you want to, you can rename that to zero, I suppose, if that makes more sense for you. And then off of ID one here, what we're going to do is then create another texture target. So what we can do is in the content browser, we've got CCTV cam one, hold control D to get CCTV cam two. We can then put that into text target there. And then we'll right click on that text target again, or render target, sorry, and we'll create a new material. And this material will put onto the monitor, the TV, or whatever it is that you want, perfectly like so again. Then with the second blueprint, which I've put in the level, which you might not have already. So if you haven't, drag that blueprint in again or duplicate the one you've already got in your level, put it in, and then we're going to change this CCTV ID to one. Again, you can choose any numbers you want. I just like to go in order from zero and upwards. And you can do this for as many cameras as you want. Just increase them in here as well, like so. So we'll compile all of that. And then we'll hit play and you should see that this is now working perfectly we have these two different cameras working perfectly like so we've got the two different cameras in the level using the one blueprint and they're working and rendering perfectly and obviously you can see this isn't affecting performance for me because i've only got two and they're at 720 and obviously got quite a good pc as well anyway but you can have quite a few in here just make sure that you're optimizing it for every pc that you want your game to be able to run on but with that i think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do what we've done is we've set up a CCTV camera or security camera system within our games so we can use one blueprint to create all of these different cameras which will update live perfectly like so and we can even have a mesh showing them as well. 
So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.